Hi, I'm Ryan Crosby. I'm going to show you today how to roll out an edge of a lateral support. This is uh, used when you might have a little bit of a tight fit in the axillary area. They, it's just a little bit too tight here at the top edge of one lateral. Maybe we need to roll that out just a hair so that they get some relief and not pinching into their, their trunk. So I'm going to take this, use this back for example, and we're going to roll out the top edge of the right lateral. So I'm going to take these apart and uh, I'm going to set my inner liner aside for a second. We're going to just focus on this outer shell. And I'm going to use a torch. I'm going to heat up right along the outside edge of this, just along that top edge of the right lateral. I don't want to heat on the inside because what we're going to do is take a hammer. You can use a hammer or a wooden dowel or a, a PVC. But we're going to roll this along the inside edge to create that roll out of the top edge. Um, so I don't want to heat that up on the inside and get plastic stuck to my hammer. So just focusing on the outside, and it takes, takes quite a bit of heat to do this. So we're looking at a, uh, a minute or so of heating. If you wanted to use a heat gun, you can, but it will take uh, probably four times as long to do it. I'm just gonna heat along that top edge. And occasionally, I'm gonna bring it onto the inside, but not enough to melt the inside layer. I just want to bring that heat through the shell. It's got to be nice and hot. If you think you've got, a, got it hot enough, go a little bit longer because you probably don't. Okay, there we go. Let's use that hammer to kind of roll out that top edge. All right, that worked pretty well. Right in that axillary area. I don't need to bring it all the way back. We're just looking here right at the, where that's interfacing to his, the axilla. I'm gonna let that cool down for a second. And uh, while that's cooling, I'm gonna grab our inner shell and go to the right side here. And I'm gonna cut along the tape that holds this uh, inner 3D mesh liner to our shell. Just cut that right away, because I, I wanna heat the top edge of this shell, but I don't want to heat the, the uh, spacer mesh, the liner. So I want to peel that back out of the way quite a ways away from my heat source because I don't want to melt that. And to hold that out of the way, I'll use uh, some masking tape. Just going to tape that back out of the way. And then peel away any tape that uh, residual tape that's left over here so that you're not heating it across any tape. That will catch fire. Okay. This won't take as much heat to do. So I'm just going to heat this until it turns a nice brownish color. Right along that top edge. Get our hammer. Make sure you're doing it in the same spot as the other one. You can put these back together and then kind of roll it so that you're finding the right contour in the right location. Just like that. All right, just rolled that part out. I'm just gonna let that cool for a second. And uh, what you're gonna need to do now is once that cools down, you take your tape apart that's holding the foam uh, or the 3D mesh out of the way. And we're just going to bring that back into place. Okay. You might need to add some spray glue to get it to stick back um, exactly where you need it. But you might have some, uh, enough residual glue that it'll stick in there pretty well. And once you have that glued back into place or held back into place, you're going to take about two inch strips of masking tape and get the good stuff. And then start from the inside of where you peeled that foam back 
right on the inner edge and then roll it to the back side. And that just bull noses that edge over the shell, and protects the user from the, the edge of the shell. And then you do that all the way around. And you've done, uh, once you've done that, you can put your cover back on and you've just heated and flared out the top edge, rolled out the top edge of a lateral support. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to call us. Uh, we're happy to help. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.